Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to a, another episode of Sea Salt Snippets. Today for you guys, we've got some spicy topics to talk about. So without further ado, let me just get my balance first. Holy shit. First off for today, the Kingdom Hearts 3 Funko line has been leaked. Uh, previously, we've already seen the Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora Funko figure because that got leaked, but we now also have the Monsters Inc. versions of Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Now, these have actually been leaked by a user that goes by the name of a nerdy dad who is known for leaking Funko stuff. So these are the pops on screen as of right now. As you guys can see, we have the monster versions of Sora, Donald, and Goofy looking really, really nice. Uh, we also have the boxes in these images as well. And interestingly enough, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 pops will have its very own line. Uh, as you guys should know, with the uh, normal Kingdom Hearts pops, they are part of just pops normal line, just known as pop. Whereas the Kingdom Hearts 3 line is actually part of Funko Pops Pop Games line. It does make sense that this would be part of the Pop Games line though, and I do like how the box is specifically themed to that of Kingdom Hearts 3, with having the Kingdom Hearts 3 logo on the box itself. As we know, these Pops will be releasing sometime in October, along with uh, a whole bunch of other Pops as well. Uh, pops to do with like the Soldier Heartless, Vanitas, etc. So that's to look forward to. Next up, I thought we'd talk a little bit about the box art. Now, no, currently as of right now, we do not have the box art, um, so don't, don't get your panic in a twist, but I thought we'd talk a little bit about this because this is actually something that we did not receive at E3 and I gotta say, I was really convinced that E3 would be the place where we would finally see that glorious Kingdom Hearts 3 Nomura art, but unfortunately we didn't. We did it! And recently, a user that goes by the name of Simon over on Twitter posted up uh, this picture right here showing us the Kingdom Hearts 3 display at Gamescom uh, with the Kingdom Hearts 3 cases, unfortunately, not containing the brand new box art. Now, I can't say that I was expecting Square Enix to drop the box art at Gamescom per se, but I was most certainly expecting them to drop it at E3 just considering how much Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff came out of E3 in amongst all of the different editions of the game, uh, the exclusive of console, all of the trailers, all of the interviews, you just kind of thought that in amongst all of that juiciness, uh, that glorious box art would be in the mix. And especially considering that now Kingdom Hearts 3 has a release date, generally when games do get release dates, we also get to see the box art alongside that too. So it's a little bit strange that as of right now we currently don't have it, maybe Tetsuya Nomura is still currently working on it. Obviously when it comes to box arts and Kingdom Hearts titles, they are a big deal to the community mainly because the box art specifically of the HD remixes for Kingdom Hearts titles looking at 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8 uh, actually contains symbolism within the artwork towards different things that happen within the franchise of the game. This is just like little Nomura details that he likes to add. But the symbolism is some pretty crazy stuff, and so I think a lot of us are really, really eager to see exactly what the Kingdom Hearts 3 box art is looking like. Uh, like I said in a video a couple of days ago, I believe the next major scoop of Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff will certainly be in September next month, the Tokyo Game Show. So hopefully, considering the fact that we are getting closer to 2019, Hopefully September will be the place where we not only get the next scoop of goodness in terms of trailers, interviews, but hopefully this will also be the place where we get that glorious box art. Huh? Alright, and last off for today, we're doing something a little bit different. Generally, I like to add these little reaction things into their own standalone videos, but because this one is a little bit shorter, I just thought I would chuck this into one of the topics for today's Sea Salt Snippets video. Uh, this video has been doing its rounds, and a few of you guys have been asking me to react to it. Uh, it's an animated Kingdom Hearts short once again, and I absolutely love these. I love reacting to them, and I think you guys do too as well. This one goes by the name of Leaked Kingdom Hearts 3 Deleted Cutscene, and uh, it looks like a pretty good time. Uh, like I usually do, I checked out around about like 10 seconds of this video, and it actually turns out that the voice acting and the dialogue within this fan-made animated cutscene is actually from ProZD, who is like a YouTuber. He's also well-known over on Twitter and stuff, and he makes little kind of skip videos and stuff. He originally did Goofy Dies in which this uh, like fan made thing is Goofy Dies but like a Kingdom Hearts 3 version or something I guess. Anyway what I'm trying to say is we've heard this dialogue before but of course this is a completely different setting so let's check this out. This is actually made by a YouTube user that goes by the name of Super Media Nuts. I'm going to put his channel along with the video in the description down below. 
It looks really good though, straight away. Sorry. Like, I'm just gonna say, it, it just Listen looks so me. good. These fan-made things recently, I gotta say, you guys have been putting in some top tier work. I don't know if this has been made in the Unreal Engine 4, or if it's maybe like Source Filmmaker or something, or just some other animation program, but this guy's done a really good job. Goofy, don't talk. Oh, man. We'll get you help. Sora, make sure you Zemnos. Zemnos. I am the Dark List. And the no ones. The, the fucking no ones. God, dude, I'm, I'm getting real sick of those no ones. Don Tootin no ones. I love this, though. Like, hearing this again, in Pro ZD, he does an absolutely incredible job with his voice acting, dude. And again, like, he killed it with this. Goofy. One day, we will know what the <laughs> fuck Kingdom Hearts is. It's like a door or something? I, I don't know, but Goofy, please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... Oh my god. I mean, hopefully at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Namura, come on, dude. The series has been going for like, what, 16, almost 17 years now? And we still don't really even know what the shrieking nipple this moon-looking thing is. I mean, yeah, it's the heart of all worlds, but like, we, we need some specifics. Oh no, but Goofy, please, stay with us. It's no oh use, this... His heart is going through the door of darkness. Soon he will be a darkness, and his brain will be a no one. Oh my god. I'm dark, Liz. I know one. He starts mentioning 358 here, I'm pretty sure. Remember this. <laughs> it's <Sora>. so good. <laughs> 358 over two days. What does it mean? What good does night. it mean? Sora. Goofy. What does that mean, Goofy? 350. What, what does that mean? No one knows. The fuck does that mean? No one knows. No one knows, Sora. <laughs> No one knows. Oh, that's beautiful. The answer to that question and all other questions will be answered. All right, so he, he goes Kingdom into Hearts. like this, uh, this whole, you know, meme memeing the Kingdom Hearts titles and making them into one big thing. But I gotta say, dude, honestly, fantastic job. Both voice acting, dialogue, alongside the actual animation itself. And like I said, I've already heard all of this dialogue from a previous reaction video we did. Uh, the Goofy Dies actual animation that released some time ago. But the animation of this looks really, really good with the physics going on, like with Sora's hair moving around and like Goofy's ears moving around, like as they're moving and stuff within the actual uh, animation itself. It looks good. It looks really good. And honestly speaking, like if you were to have released something like this, not so meme-tastic and parody-like, but in a sort of serious manner, uh, around the time that Kingdom Hearts 3 first got announced and revealed back in 2013, like, if you were to release something like this, late 2013, early 2014, like I said, in a serious manner, people probably would have taken you seriously. Like, this looks really legit. Really good. But anyway, guys, with all that being said, that is going to crack up today's episode of Sea Salt Snippets. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. In the comment section down below, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions towards today's video. Otherwise, with all that being said, I'm Cynical, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hit him on a page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Look, crank, gaming up your bitch, though. Catch me in the back, play your Super Nintendo.